How far would you go to protect the one you love? Would you be willing to endure pain if it meant keeping them safe, even if that pain is your own? Today we explore a story from Rumi's Mathnawi. The story illustrates love not just as a feeling, but as a potent force, a force that defies logic, so powerful that turns suffering into an act of devotion. Leek as lady vujude man porast, in sadaf por as sefate andorast, the poem narrates a story about two iconic figures in Persian uh, mystical poetry, Majnun and his beloved Leili. Majnun's love for Leili is going to be tested in a way that will make you question the very essence of love. What happens when the lines, when the borders between two hearts disappear? and one soul's agony becomes the pain and burden of the other. Join me as I unravel Rumi's tale of love, a love so powerful that even the simplest act of healing becomes a dangerous gamble. Imagine being so deeply in love that your very self, your identity, dissolves into your beloved. This is not just a feeling, this is the reality that Majnun experiences. His love for Leili is consuming him. His love is not just an emotion, it's a force that influences and shapes his entire existence, his thought and even his physical body. Majnun has wandered deserts, faced beasts and endured unimaginable pain. But now the same love has made him greatly ill. His friends, seeing the situation, call a doctor. The doctor examines him and tells him that he needs to be bled, a common but painful practice of the day. گفت چاره نیست هیچ از رگزنش رگزدن باید برای دفع خون رگزنی آمد بدن جا زو فنون As the doctor prepares for incision Majnun yells, hold his hand and tells the doctor get your money and go out We don't need to complete this task anymore The doctor is surprised, he is shocked He knew how much suffering and hardship that Majnun has gone through and he is wondering why he is afraid of this incision. Astonished by Majnun's act, the doctor asks him, Majnun, you have braved wild animals. You have been surrounded by beasts, by lions, wolves, bears, and have you have faced all sorts of difficulties and dangers without a second thought in the name of Leili's love. Why now fear a simple knife? Majnun's answer is shocking and deeply moving. He says, I do not fear the knife. I find solace, I find comfort in love's pain. But Leili and I are one. There is no separation between us. I fear that your knife might hurt Leili. I'm, I'm not afraid of my own pain. I'm afraid of you harming her, for her essence flows through my veins. Goft majnun man nemi tarsam zemish. Sabre man az kuh sangin hast bish. Man balam bi zakh nasayat tanam. Aashagam bar zakh ha bar mi tanam. Leik az Leili vujud man porast. این صدف پر از صفات آن دور است. هر سمی فساد گر فستم کنی، نیش را ناگاه بر لیلی زنی. داندان عقلی که او دل روشنیست، در میان لیلی و من فرق نیست. With each moment that passes, the tension rises. The doctor is torn. How can he heal Majnun without risking harm to Leili, even if only in Majnun's perception? The stakes are impossibly high. What Majnun is truly afraid of is not his own pain. It is the suffering that Leili might endure because of this process. As the doctor hesitates, the depth of Majnun's love becomes even clearer. This is not a mere fleeting passion. This is a love that transcends the physical. 
binding two souls in a way that defies logic. He and Leili are not two separate beings, but one unified soul. Majnun Hearts beats not just for himself, but also for Leili, and the thought of causing her pain is unbearable for him. His love for Leili is so absolute that even the slightest scratch on his body risks harming her. Majnun's love is both his greatest strength and his greatest weakness. It's a love that refuses to see the world in simple physical terms, instead viewing everything through the lens of unity. Majnun's fear is not rooted in self-preservation, but in profound bond he shares with Leili, one that makes her pain inseparable from his own. Majnun's love challenges us to rethink our understanding of love and sacrifice. It forces us to think whether true love is sacrificing yourself for your beloved, whether it is protecting your beloved at any cost, even if that cost is your own well-being. Majnun's love defies the ordinary, a love so powerful that turns suffering into an act of devotion. If Majnun's story resonates with you, do not miss our previous episode which was about divine wine and drunkenness, and the one before that which was about the first separation of Shamsat Abrizi and Rumi. Please subscribe, like and share to learn more and to help others learn more about Rumi's fascinating thought. کم به جوش آمد ز شعله اشتیاق تا بدید آمد بر مجنون خونا از طبیب آمد به دارو کردنش گفت چاره نیست هیچ از رگزنش رگزدن باید برای دفت خون رگزنی آمد به دانجا زو فنون بازوش بست و گرفتان نیش او آنگ بر زد در زمان آن عشق خوب مزد خود بستان و ترک فست کن گر بمیرم گو برو جسم خون گفت آخر از چه می ترسی از این؟ چون نمی ترسی تو از شیر ارین شیر و گرگ و خرس و هر گور و دده گرد بر گرد تو شب گرد آمده می ناید شمز تو بوی بشر زنبوهی عشق و وجدن در جگر گرگ و خرس و شیر داند عشق چیز همز سگ باشد که از عشق و امیست گر رگ عشقی نبودی کلب را پی به جستی کلب کهوی قلب را همز جنس او به صورت چون سگان گر نشد مشهور هستند در جهان. او نبودی تو دلند در جنس فیش کی بری تو بوی دل از گرگ و میش گر نبودی عشق هستی کی بودی کی زدی نام بر تو و کی تو شدی نان تو شد از چیز عشق و اشتهای و ننان را کی بودی تا جان رهی عشق نان مرده را می جان کند جان که فانی بود جاویدان کند گفت مجنون من نمی ترسم زنیش، صبر من از کوه سنگین هست بیش. من بلم ای زخم ناساید تنم، آشقم بر زخم ها بر می تنم. لیک از لیلی بودود من پر است، این صدف پر از صفات آن دور است. ترسم ای پس ساد گر فستم کنی، نیش را ناگاه بر لیلی زنی. داندان عقلی که او دل روشنیست، در میان لیلی و من فرق نیست،